How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Apple Keynote tutorial. I'm Will Stinton. Today, we're going to talk about how to use speech bubbles in Keynote. It's something that I do from time to time for basically three reasons. Reason number one, to try to convey an important point. Reason number two is to make a joke. And reason number three is to just get the audience attention. So I'll give you the first example that I showed you. In this case, we're opened up into one of my keynotes for World War I. The students are going to get tested on the idea that the Western Front was a stalemate because of trench warfare. Because that's an important point that I want to drive home, I want to use a speech bubble on this map. And so we're gonna go up here to shape, and you're gonna get hit shape. And it has there a speech bubble for you, and you click on that. And it is kind of this weird blue color, but you can manipulate it to be wherever you want it to be. And so we're gonna drag it out, make it about that big. We're gonna go over here to format. And under format, we're going to go to fill. We want it to be white. It does need a border and let's give it a line and it'll make it a black line. Let's make that two. I think two looks a little bit better. And it definitely needs a drop shadow. And the drop shadow that I like is a two blur a 10 point offset and then a hundred percent opacity nah maybe we'll go 50 percent opacity i like that look and here you have a very three-dimensional looking speech bubble so what you want to do next is you want to type whatever you want to type in there so we're going to double click and then as you can see you can type into there you want to make sure you're using a black or whatever color you want color of font and we're going to type trench warfare made the western front a stalemate bam and we'll stretch it back out to so you can see all the text and so actually you're already half done the next thing that you need to do is click on it go over here to animate it needs to build in i like to use wipe because wipe looks cool so we'll go wipe and it'll go from left to right and if you want it to build out you hit build out, add an effect, wipe, and it'll also go from right to left. So whether you wanna use a speech bubble to make a point like I did on this map, or if you wanna make a joke like I did with James Watt, or if there's a boring video and you just wanna get the audience attention to make sure they're watching it, these are great reasons to do a simple speech bubble and it's very easy to do. All right guys, so that's the video. Thanks so much for clicking on this Apple Keynote tutorial. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. And if you wanna know how to do anything else on Apple Keynote, be sure to leave a comment and let me know. All right guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.